Gang-related fights and stabbings broke out at Ware State Prison in Waycross, Georgia a couple of days ago. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. Subscribe, click the notification bell, all that good stuff so you don't miss anything that's coming down the pipeline. And man, it looks like there is a whole lot going on. You guys saw the video I dropped yesterday. Um, matter of fact, first of all, boom, trademark activated. Now we're in business. So a lot of stuff going on, man. Feds uh, had those two guys get killed. The La MA, the Mexican Mafia guy, the uh, MS-13 guy, and now all this stuff in Georgia. But with Georgia, I mean, it's really nothing new, man. It's... Uh, George is actually under a Department of Justice investigation, man. I found out doing a video, I think last month, that Georgia actually had more people killed in less than a year than all the other uh, state prison systems, which was very surprising to me because you would think that that would be somewhere like California or something like that. But as I've said in other videos, California has a lot more control over their inmates because they're not short staffed and everything like all these southern prisons. So... You know, Georgia, South Carolina, Mississippi, Alabama are all off the chain right now where inmates pretty much run the whole situation. Now, there is very graphic video that is out there of these stabbings. Um, you see one guy has a dead body laying down and somebody's trying to get him out the door, but the police won't come in and get him. And you can see that he's got a machete in his hand about that long. And <clears throat> excuse me, I got a lot of phlegm built up anyway. So. Obviously, I'm not going to put that on YouTube, and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. You can find this stuff if you search for it. There's about four or five videos, but if you just want to support my channel, it's only two bucks a month for the Patreon. I will put those videos on my Patreon for you to see, along with those other extremely graphic videos that I have on my Patreon from the riots down in, uh, what was it, Guatemala? No, Ecuador, with the beheadings and all that stuff. That'll be on there, but... uh not going to get into any of that here. I'm just going to read you this story and we're going to talk just a little bit about how ridiculous it is that they're not reporting this stuff because this happened. We know that it happened because of people that were in there. There's video. I mean, this happened and it's not on any of the major news outlets because the DOC is trying to keep the shit quiet like they always do. The only outlet that's covering this is something called the Georgia Virtue. And it's ridiculous that this is not on the news because last year when they had that riot, all the news outlets picked it up. But since then, they've had so many incidents and so many deaths that I guess the director of the Department of Corrections, whoever it may be, I don't know who's making these decisions, but they're trying to keep all this stuff on the hush. And the truth of the matter is, it's their fault. Your job, your job is to ensure the safety of the public and the people in prison and run a decent prison system. And if you can't keep people to work, that obviously means you're not paying them enough for the for the level of danger or whatever it may be. But that's neither here nor there. Let's check out this article real quick. It says cell phone video from inside George's Ware prison shows violence, stabbings and other vicious assaults between inmates over the last 24 hours. Now, this was dated as of two days ago. Um, warning videos are uh, violent and has explicit language not suitable for all audiences and yeah they're really not you actually see one guy actually getting stabbed up uh, like I said you see another guy laid out dead I need to stop saying those because obviously YouTube's gonna try to demonetize this again I'm hoping I'll win it on a review but whatever Video leaks come just one week after Commissioner Timothy Ward told Georgia his plans for a $600 million uh, renovation program. So basically, that was part of the reason why they shut down GSP in Reedsville, because they got this $600 million that they're going to build, I think they said, four new facilities. So last week, officials announced that Georgia State Prison, the state's there it is, is going to close the oldest facility, blah, blah, blah. Just goes into what his job is. And then it says in one video... An inmate can be seen being hit, punched, and stabbed by another inmate. Other inmates are gathered around and using cell phone to do video. After multiple blows, the assaulted inmate stands up with blood-soaked clothing. He then bangs on the door for assistance from GDC employees. The video, which is two minutes long, does not show staff responding. I was about to say they better mention that because they didn't. And in the one where the guy was deceased, they the, you can hear a guy saying, Look, she won't even come in here. She's scared. And which I understand 
that part because there is a guy standing there with a damn machete. But I'm pretty sure he was protecting the guy who was laid out dead because he looked like he was trying to help him. But I do get it. I wouldn't walk in there either with guys with machetes out and everything. But still, you know, you should have a attack force or what they call it in Georgia. It's been so long since I've been in there. Um, not SWAT. Why the hell am I thinking SWAT? Jesus Christ, this isn't the police. What are they called? They wear all black. I've been jacked up by them before and sent to the hole. Um, anyway, somebody hit me in the comments and remind me of what it's called in Georgia. They wear the gray fatigues with the black shirts and the black hats. So anyway, um, organization captioned the video saying, Timothy Ward, nothing to see here. Everyone is safe. We're following all the rules. This is why there's so much talk last week about cell phone jammers. So the general public can't see the violence and inhumane treatment taking place in these prisons. And it's really true. I can always see both sides. You know, inmates are not supposed to have phones. They can facilitate crimes by having phones. But also, I see the other side. None of us out here would know anything about the horrible conditions in Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina. Back in 2018, when that riot kicked off, nobody would have really known what was going on if they didn't have all that cell phone video. We wouldn't have seen how staff didn't respond for seven straight hours. And these guys just sat there getting hacked to pieces until seven people were dead. We never would have known. We never would have known about the deteriorating facilities that they live in especially in parchment in mississippi and some of the prisons in south carolina they literally look like they're falling apart we'd never know about the brown water just real unsanitary living conditions and i know that there's a huge movement of people in the free world who's like oh well just don't go to prison and don't do time well you know what for all of y'all shut the fuck up because you're stupid you sound stupid when you say that because you never know what could happen you don't know if you're protecting your family and you know you kill somebody protecting them and you don't get to get the stand your ground law so you have to go for manslaughter for a few years you never know why somebody's in prison so just grouping everybody together and saying well you shouldn't be there it's not supposed to be easy you're a retard now moving on where state prison violence is not new nor are the disturbances one disturbance in 2020 left an inmate dead correctional officers injured that was the one i covered it you can go see it on my channel there's actually a video of them they basically kidnapped a guard and they just went ham, had the prison set on fire, all kinds of stuff. Um, videos from that incident show chaos and violence as part of the prison war engulfed in flames. The acts could easily pass for a riot. Georgia DOC has never commented on the incident as a whole other than to deem it a disturbance. And that's pretty much all we got. Um, like I said, you can find these videos if you go and look for them. Um, so it's not like I'm just trying to monetize the videos but the only platform i have to be able to show them myself is on the patreon because it's a pay platform i'm able to put that stuff up on there and so like i said it's only two bucks if you feel like supporting the channel and you want to go see them if not just go to facebook go to google and you can see these videos for free doesn't matter but either way man uh, another sad situation um Rest in peace to whoever died. We still don't have a handle on how many. Some people are saying two people died. Some people are saying one. Some people are saying none. But clearly you can see a guy who is either completely unconscious to the point of looking lifeless or actually dead. He had to be drugged out of the facility or out of the door. So RIP to anybody that passed. And I hate that these things are happening, man. It sucks. Prison ain't the place to be. Stay straight, kids. Don't break the law. And I hope you enjoyed the content. Until next time.